Yo, what's up? My name is RetroPat, and hopefully you guys are ready for some of the most fun survival gameplay within Dungeon Defenders. Good morning, good morning. Go ahead and grab a snack, get a nice little sodi pop, and I'm going to go ahead and jump into some Magus Quarters, Nightmare Difficulty, Hardcore Mode, Survival, not doing Mix Mode, okay? That's the one difference, the one little small change. Now, I clicked Start on Wave 6. For this one and hopefully it's going to give me but it's not going to give me the increased mana so just kidding we're going to return to tavern and re-loop this we're going to start at level one unfortunately so kind of what i was hoping for i wonder if i started on mixed mode if it would give me the mana so from my understanding if you haven't if the game doesn't log you or register as you having completed up to that wave before on survival it seems like it doesn't give you the extra mana but let's say i've gotten to wave 10 before on magus quarters you know survival uh, and i go ahead and you know jump to wave 10 starting the thing off it'll give me all of the mana like uh from all the chests leading up to that wave that it would have normally given so it could actually really start but if you only have you know 200 mana to start building building units on excuse me i'm so sorry building units on you know wave six or whatever you're just you're not going to make it so i do have to kind of start from scratch here i'm going to go ahead and uh we'll do bouncer blockades of course my new favorite Thankfully, my my character speed is a lot faster now. My uh, my Morago Desert video is currently, or just aired recently. It's the most recently aired video at the current time of recording this. And, dude, I felt terrible. Everybody in the comments was like, hey, man, uh, usually really, really enjoy your content. I'm going to be honest. This one was a tough watch, like, due, due to my hero speed. Like, it's funny to think, I mean, obviously, I hated the slow hero speed as well. But, dude, so many people in the comments were literally like, dude, this was a difficult experience because of how, like, annoying it is to watch your character move so slow. And I fully empathize. I fully get it. I will never let that happen again at all costs, okay? So, in the future, we are going to just make stupid... We're, we're going to sacrifice everything for hero speed if it comes down to... Let me, let me grab some mana and set up a uh, harpoon over here to help deal with this gin, as it's obviously going to be an issue if we don't have any ranged attacks. The bouncer blockade was destroyed. Didn't expect that. Okay, mildly unfortunate, but we're going to go ahead and grab this. I should, be, I should be doing way more, honestly, on wave one. I've kind of been slacking on this wave. I should have went around and tried to build these uh, harpoons much faster. Look how fast. Wait a minute. Dude, this bouncing blockade... I didn't realize how fast it uh, it does that. That was actually kind of filthy. Uh, and the ogre is going to get taken care of. <laughs> what a weakling. No problem. Uh, I probably am going to go ahead and set up slice and dices. I keep getting people telling me, hey, man, never, ever build slice and dices. And I'm sorry. I like slice and dices, okay? I don't know. In my opinion, maybe I'm cope, okay? Maybe I'm cope. I really like that the slice and dices rip through the ogres, okay? I think if you don't have ogres, uh, going with bouncing blockades is probably better. Um, but it, it feels to me, I could be totally logically wrong. I want to preface, I could be totally logically wrong here, okay? I'm not a Dungeon Defenders expert by any means. I just really, really enjoy the game. Could be totally logically wrong. Uh, and if it could be logically explained to me, I'm happy to switch my position. Uh, but at the current time, Man, it feels really good to use slice and dices, in my opinion, over the bouncing blockades when those ogres are storming your gates. All right, but that's just wave uh, one or wave two, I guess, technically. It's weird with survival. I usually just say, like, oh, this is wave one if it's the first, like, wave I've jumped into, you know? Even if the map, if it's technically, like, wave five or whatever. Um, I assume the number just has to be different for, like, power reasons, even if um, it kind of doesn't match up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm gonna be oh I did not prepare I totally forgot about the copter guys oh no I'm a fool I totally forgot about this let's see if I can at least stop this one maybe nah I'm not gonna be able <gasps> yes I did wait okay that's a life-saving situation um I'm an idiot for for forgetting about this uh and this guy is gonna be an issue do 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 Okay, he at least gets taken care of. I'm getting hit by some rockets. Kind of hard. I'm going to try to jump down here get some heals off. A lot of crazy stuff just happened. I have to set up a... Uh, I'm going to have to set up a harpooner. Yeah, bait these guys over to get them killed harpoons. I totally forgot. This was a thing I have to remember on this wave. That by, like, wave two, I have to uh, have my slice and dice set up to build... I, I can't believe I actually was able to beat that still. I totally could have just restarted there and it would have been reasonable, but... Dude, I will happily, happily, happily take that. So let's get a nice harpoon set up. I think this was an issue I had last time was this harpoon was actually too far forward. I think pulling this harpoon back is for the better. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. A lot of mana on the floor here. 
Uh, I can just start dumping into upgrades for sure and looking to build more stuff. For example, this little area still needs a second harpoon, so we'll go ahead and do that. What happened to this? Oh, did a sharkin? A sharkin must have pushed that. I was like, I don't know what happened with that. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade everything at least once, twice, maybe. Nice. A lot of ground mana. You'll love to see it. Now, I don't have too many defense units left. Do I have two harpoons at each location? I absolutely do not. So what I'm trying to remember, what did I do last time? I'm just, I'm, I'm truly trying to remember what my build because if i do this okay now i have an i have extra defense units what did i possibly do last time oh i don't have a okay i was i don't have a harpoon at either of these locations i see what i did i see what i did um i think last time i had maybe only a slice and dice here and then like i'm trying to think i think i only might uh i'm not sure is are these Slice and dice is going to be enough to take care of all the wyverns and the ogre and stuff becomes the question. I kind of don't think so. I really wish I could place a uh, harpoon on top of this, but I unfortunately cannot. And I like don't really know of a, uh, a good way I can place an extra harpoon here that's going to be able to hit both of those areas. Uh, it's kind of awkward. Uh, I'm not really sure how what, honestly what the best play is here. I could do something. I place it here what this looks like nope i just can't get that the cone range is not wide enough i could do it like there okay hilariously i'm gonna try this this is kind of wonky if i put it there it might actually be able to target them we're gonna see i'm gonna upgrade this to see if that that actually might be good we'll see what happens but as i kind of mentioned at our tip that earlier with the snacks and you know this is, gonna be, this is gonna be a long video guys this is gonna be a long survival you know bit of gameplay and survivals just take a long time usually an hour or two or like yeah it's usually a couple hours of me just sitting in the map now it may not be one survival run it may become multiple i'll definitely have to see what happens like yeah i think this guy is actually managing yeah it's actually managing to target the the both sides so we'll go ahead and just keep that going um i definitely want to start pumping upgrades into these slice and dices since they're going to be doing so much of my damage to fight off these ogres you know slice and dices are good at fighting ogres so i want to pump some stuff into that for sure like that ogre was taken care of like mostly pretty well mostly pretty safely uh there is two ogres coming over to this zone which is not you know pretty should be should be should raise some alarms if there's double ogres coming over i should be a little prepped for it so let's go ahead and uh i, I have way too much mana i feel like i'm actually not dumping enough mana into stuff i feel like I, every time i look at my mana, i'm always at full mana no matter what no matter how much i spend i just can't dump out enough mana so let me work on that there's a mythical helmet it looks like over here shouldn't no, it shouldn't seem like any upgrades i don't think but like not even a very good mythical at all uh, and then a mythical sword or something over here or not there maybe here question mark yeah mythical sword. so nothing crazy though i'm probably not going to check i'm probably not going to check like any of these mythicals at least for a really long time I'll probably just start um, making my way up into the later levels. The goal, as I want to restate, I've said it last episode, last couple episodes as I've been learning this challenge, I need to reach wave 20, but I think I need to reach it on wave, I think I need to reach it on um, mix mode hilariously, um, but I think I, I only got to wave 6 last time on mix mode, and that was fucking brutal. So I have to learn, I have to work my way up, you know, I've got to earn my keep, earn my place, and go ahead and start a normal survival, and then make my way up into mix mode. I'm going to go ahead and pop the the wave now i could probably do this with um other minions up like i could actually probably multi-box for this one i don't know if it'd make it too difficult and be too complicated i'm not sure um but i'm gonna go grab this mana that's what i am sure of all from like all the sharkins and gins like these guys drop you a ton of mana everything is looking pretty good so far i think there is double ogre over at this location so i'm gonna head on over to it there's some crazy stuff happening oh wyverns are getting through a bit i wonder if it's better to have a harpoon just looking over the crystal then to deal with that um you know what i have a lot of mana let me pump more into these slice and dices just to up their dps like that's gonna be i should be putting more love into that that guy's fine He's a little, he's, he's doing fine. He's doing fine. Yeah. I'm going to put more into this. Do I have 700 after this? Yes, I do. We'll put a one star into that. I'll get both of these guys one. So let me check the stats on this. How much is the DPS at the moment? Attack damage, 22K. Uh, damage rate at max spin. Damage at max spin. 110K per second. You're fucking kidding me. What? That seems disgusting. I feel like, what? Most damage that I'm aware of, I feel like is something like 
10k like, or like it's 20 i think these usually do like 20k or something attack damage per second 41k now what the f that's crazy um huh okay well i'm getting a lot stronger than i than i even realized then another wave complete of course there's wave five being completed i'm gonna take a second here to grab all the mana possible uh before jumping to this next wave getting a max upgrade on that is going to be nice just going to put quick little heals on that stuff though not super serious and then i do want to put more upgrades on the slice and dices that are watching out for the wyverns as i don't like at all that a couple of those got through that's not a good sign so these bad boys this guy's gonna get one starred we'll take it one of the biggest issues is really just like the fact that um the copters interrupt your building and your healing and your upgrade so much that is that is like truly the most troublesome mo mob that i've seen uh, at least on this map obviously i haven't seen i haven't seen i haven't seen shamans on this map have i like literally at all i haven't seen them once oh dude that's gonna suck when i get to them so much i'm not looking forward to that um both of those guys are one star let's go ahead and get this up to one star as well and we'll just jump into the next wave get more mana get more heals on stuff get more upgrades wherever possible I'll do my best here, fellows, but things do move quickly. Now, that one did take care of that, which was kind of nice. These harpoons actually did put up some extra work. There's one of the spiders. Maybe that's what's causing certain things to get through, possibly, when spiders sort of have issues. I could I could see that being, you know, a thing. Um, oh, I don't want to drop in the lava like I almost did there. That would actually take me out for the whole round and cause major, major, major issues. So, thankfully made it out there i'm gonna go ahead and go for the three star upgrade here since i can't accept like i talked about the copter is going to interrupt me causing major issues or possibly causing major issues going for the three star yet again should be able to get it this time the three star in the middle here is taking a bit actually zero damage so far i was gonna say there's a lot of odors on that middle section but not actually taking much damage at the moment. I'm going to as much mana here as possible. Just sort of head in here, do as much damage as possible. Having not many issues with these three-star slice and dices, which is why I kind of come around to liking the slice and dices, man. They're able to be so strong. The Eternia Crystal is under attack. I'm going to Bloodlust, Blood Rage, whatever you want to call it, and try to loop around as best as possible. Is it just some Wyverns? What is under attack or what is attacking me? Okay, they're taken care of by some stray harpoons. We'll take it. I'm not even sure what was able to actually target them. Not even 100% sure. Spiders being annoying... I may be need to, I maybe need to repl like place this harpoon that's here somewhere else. Uh, I go for an upgrade here on this harpoon. Oh yeah, this is actually the harpoon that I should put a ton of upgrades on. This is the one that's like protecting my crystal at the current time. So yeah, this one needs the most support. Gonna go ahead and put a one star upgrade onto that. Gonna go grab the mana. Still a lot of crazy stuff going on. Put a heal on this if possible. There is a harpoon over somewhere. That's taken quite a bit of damage. I think it's the one over here, unfortunately. Keep getting like, murked by the spiders. We'll head over to it, give it a one-star upgrade, jump over here, grab the more mana, run around, smash some enemies while we're at it. Go ahead and put a one-star on the slice and dice here, if possible. Nothing emergency like needed, but it's just nice. Why not? Why not have all these slice and dices at every main entrance, having one of those one-star upgrades, looping around to the very last ogre of the map, grabbing the extra mana, and then putting some more upgrades here in the center, most likely, specifically on this harpoon. I'm going to three-star it. Kind of strange, but I'm going to three-star this harpoon uh, while some things actually still need... There's still some things that need like three, level three. Like, I think there's a harpoon over here. That's a lot of mythical stuff. Uh, so this is the first time ever for me reaching wave seven on this map. I died at wave six last time on mix mode, but mix mode is a lot more difficult. Mix mode did have, I believe, ninjas and shamans like from the very get-go. So it's a lot more difficult. As you can see, I've got these uh, harpoons back here, which still need plenty of upgrades. I'm going to go ahead and just heal stuff before i actually jump into this wave and i should be fine here for the most part we're gonna see what else needs heals like this needs a quick heal uh that should be good everything good this needs a quick heal i'm gonna have to jump into the next wave in a sec here to get more mana because i need a lot more mana for a lot more upgrades i always like to see how much mana i gain after ending a wave like this to see like all of these mythicals on the ground are about to be consumed and turned into mana how much do i get from that bottom right hand corner of the screen is going to let you know how much mana i get 15.5 million that's gonna be a really fun part about grinding this survival i mean i don't think it's as fast mana as uh i mean maybe maybe in the later waves like once you reach like if i can possibly even reach wave 20 and stuff maybe it does get like wicked powerful but um please don't bomb me in the lava okay um ooh, the spiders are causing some issues okay let me let's maybe die spider maybe uh Get taken care of. Thank you very much. 
Um, what was I trying to say? I was trying to say maybe in the later waves you do get better mana, but I don't believe this should not be better mana per hour than Endless Spires. Not at all. I think I managed, what, like 300 million mana per hour? I think it was some, around around 300, mana, uh, 300 million mana per hour doing the Endless Spires loot from one hour run. That was a really fun video. There's uh, so many ogres here. Okay, ah, just three casual ogres. What I'm scared of seeing, what I'm scared, what I'm truly scared of happening is, um... An ogre getting goldenified by a by a jinn. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know if I need to watch out for that. I don't know if I should be trying to prevent that. Uh, there is some crazy hack and slash noises happening behind me here. My volume is turned up pretty loud today. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn it down right there. So hopefully it wasn't too loud for you guys up until this point. Hopefully it's still doable. We're going to put some heals on this where possible. Now the issue is with the crystal taking damage from those few wyverns that got through. It's permanent damage. Um, so that kind of stinks. The fact that that's permanent damage is kind of brutal. Um, I want to get more mana and go for an upgrade on this slice and dice where possible. Did that copter guy just explode? I think the copters actually do go for a, uh, a quick little explosion near their death, which is uh, a little, a little brutal. The fact that they've got, you know, kamikaze and goblins is, uh, a little harsh, I'd argue. Uh, we're going to three-star this. We'll have both slice and dices, uh, taking care of the wyverns. Three-star, which is nice. That wave, like you know generally was actually pretty easy there wasn't many problems obviously i have to like run around and heal stuff like it's just getting a lot harder i just have to run around and heal stuff and upgrade stuff as much as possible once at ooh, possible upgrades no way uh didn't expect that today did not expect possible upgrades to be dropped that one's not an upgrade this is a small sword little baby sword uh not an upgrade i don't think but that, I didn't expect to see that this early into the. I'm I'm trying to get to wave 20 plus for for really good gear drops. I'm at wave eight and I'm already getting possible upgrades. That's pretty crazy, dude. I'm, wave 20 is going to be an insane difference. The question is, what I want to prioritize uh, upgrading first here. I'm actually like totally not sure. Should I just go ahead and put since this is not three star? Should I just go ahead and three star this? Should I one star? I'm gonna one star this and then one star this since it's taken some damage, I guess. That's, that's the best I got. Okay, I picked up plenty of more mana, though, so I can go back to do two more one-stars. So I'll go ahead and one-star this as well. That's totally fine. We'll go over, head over here and get all the get all the harpoons on the map one-starred. Here's my last bit of mana. Just 475, so not enough to upgrade. I guess I can grab this chest real quick. Not enough to... I probably should... So I actually absolutely should open every chest every time. Just like it's, I don't really need the 40 mana. The 40 mana is whatever, but the extra mana that I get to my bank... Like, because, look at this. Just because I opened this chest, I got myself an extra 1 million mana right there. Uh, 750k, uh, 1 million again. So two, I gained an extra 3 million mana just because I opened that chest. That is unbelievably turbo data worth it. So I need to make sure I got to be on the scout. I got to make sure I don't miss any chests. Like, it's funny, like, I think during certain survival maps, I would absolutely just skip over chests. You know, who cares? You know, easy survival, going away of 25 or whatever. It didn't matter if I opened all the chests. I, I didn't need the mana for the to play the map. What was I even using it for? Um, and this, missing a chest, means you lose out on 3 million total bank mana. That's a, that's a, that's like, that's a lot. That's, you know, it's three level ups on a piece of gear pretty later on. That's, that's really good. Um, I have a lot of upgrades to need to dish out here. While I have the mana, I'll go ahead and put it. I just put a three star on something. I think on that, on that harpoon that was over there. Let's go grab whatever mana we can as well. Why not? We'll head over here, grab whatever mana. There's a lot of as two ogres heading that way. I'm just gonna cross their path like we're nice little friends, neighbors, seeing ourselves like we do every single day. We're gonna head over here, put a three star upgrade over onto this harpoon. It's gonna help me take care of the like four. Wait, there's like a bunch of ogres over here. Wait a minute. Let me uh. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And a Sharknado. And a Sharknado. And a Golden something. Uh, I'm going to try to get behind this and put a three-star upgrade onto this. Perfect timing. Get the efficient three-star plus the heal on that Slice and Dice. I mean, I'm really, really happy to see that. It probably only need that much healed because it was still one-starred. But you know what? I don't know. Can't complain. Uh, that Ogre is doing some crazy things. I'm going to head over here and go for a quick little heal on this. My casting rate, kind of filthy. What happened? This must be gear upgrades. Look at this, fellas. My casting rate kind of gone to the moon all of a sudden. I haven't even noticed that. Dude, that's going to be like legitimately, underratedly super helpful. Look how fast I heal this now as comparatively to before. That was a couple seconds. Oh, that's going to be underratedly super powerful. 
That is actually sick to see. Uh, only shitty thing about this hammer weapon that I have currently, I hate I hate the slow swing speed. Definitely a, a much bigger fan of the uh, rapid firing. Uh, what's it called? The flame water? I like the flame water, man. The shield weapon, similar to the mobile moxies, you know, that sort of stuff. I think it's very cool. Uh, we're going to take care of that. I have enough for a one star, which I actually do need on this. So let's go ahead and do it. Pump that mana into it. Uh, the copter rockets just barely narrowly miss, miss me, allowing me to go ahead and get off that upgrade. We're going to go grab all the mana over here before it disappears, as it most likely will, since we still have a bit to go in the wave. Around 119 mi minions are still spawning in. We're going to go for a quick heal on this. And I mean a quick heal with my new casting rate, 216 hero casting rate just from equipment alone. Talk about easy peasy OP. We're going to get a three-star upgrade on this harpoon. That only leaves one tower on the map still needing a three-star upgrade. Around five enemies left and around a couple hundred mana left. And I should be able to get my last three-star upgrade, which is very, very cool. I knocked the final goblin down here with me. So let's go ahead and take care of him with my dumb little hammer. Should be a little faster. There we go. Been waiting for him to walk all the way back up. Grab this mana as well. Do I have enough? I'm so, I think I'm going to have it right here. Nice. So before I start wave nine, well, first I need to go open all this chest. I need to go open all the, first I need to do this. Bam, every single tower three starred before we even re reach wave 10. That's pretty cool. I'm very, very happy with that. Now I wonder if uh, possible upgrades, you're kidding me. Let me check the sword. The sword is honestly pretty good. The issue is I'd have to upgrade it a lot to actually be better than my current hammer. It's it's interesting. It's interesting. Uh, we're gonna leave it be. That's definitely not upgrade by any means. Um, let's open all the chests once again. Opening these chests give me a shit ton mana, more mana, and damn, this sword looks so fucking cool. I wish it was an upgrade because that looks incredible. Let's go grab all this extra mana. I'm I just I don't really need it. I just need mana for this point for heals. Uh, which you know you do need some mana for heals, but not much. It's not like you need you know. 1200 or whatever to do the upgrades and such right so let's get heals off on everything get everything fully healed and we'll jump into the next wave here in a quick sec all right everything is fully healed and ready to go let's jump into it see how this goes i'm at around 800 mana so i don't need that much mana here sharkins coming in orcs are coming in goblin copters i'm gonna stand up here and try to uh keep one if i can keep one from uh reaching the ledge it would be kind of nice. I almost got him. 2 million HP now. He has more HP now. Oh, wait. What? Okay. I think the Goblin Copter. Kamikaze. I think that's what happened there. Oh, the spiders are a problem. How much HP do these things have? Are you kidding me? 26k or whatever? That's actually ridiculous. We're going to put a heal on this. Oh, dude. The summoner rates. The summoner rates just... Or this, the healing rates. The casting rates. Just feels ridiculous. That actually just feels insane. How good that is. Wow, that's kind of filthy. A wyvern did get through there for a quick sec. Now, thankfully, I have the... Yep, you can see some wyverns are kind of getting through there. Thankfully, I do have the the backup harpoons to help me deal with them. But, that, I mean, still a little too sketchy for my liking. Uh, this ogre is doing a little bit there. Whatever, who cares? Just a little purple little fella. Let's see. Sharknado is gearing up for a push. Thankfully, it gets taken care of by the slice and dice before any real problems arise. It's not an exciting thing to see as the defender, um, as the attacker for the dungeon. Maybe they're excited to see it, but as the defender, you don't want to see the Sharknado. I feel like that's one of those things that could, like, really end the run. Like, if a Sharknado, ooh, slips through, or if I am an idiot, and, okay, it's, it's so hard to lose. Look at this. Talk about failing upwards, dude. How the fuck, my casting rate is so insane, it's, like, so hard to lose at this point. Being able to heal this much is, is just ridiculous. Now, that's the way I lose, honestly, is the uh, the Wyverns getting through. Thankfully, the spiders can't attack the crystal. That would be really unfortunate if that was uh, if that was possible. Now, the thing I'm not looking forward to is after I beat this wave, we're jumping into wave 10 next, and uh, I might lose. <laughs> I might lose here, fellas. Uh, the three ogres absolutely storming in like a fucking militarized army that knows exactly what they're doing. Uh, look at this organization from the ogres. So wave 10 is gonna be really hard. I'm, I'm telling I, it's very possible I might lose this might be the final the final time for me um, It's kind of funny that you can't upgrade your towers past three star. No, I feel like that should be like a thing, right? Maybe that's a thing in, in Dungeon Defenders Redux. I don't know a whole lot about it um, Obviously, I know it's a I believe I believe it's a fan made or community made mod that adds 
even more end game content to Dungeon Defenders, which is hilarious to me because I feel like compared to most games, uh, Dungeon Defenders already has a ridiculous amount of end game content. So the fact that the community is so fucking hardcore that they were like, yeah, uh, we completed everything. What's next? Let's make a mod. It, it just feels like one of those things. It kind of reminds me of like the Terraria community or Minecraft community with adding those fucking engineering mods with like insanely uh, realistic like fucking wiring. It's just it's it's craziness to me. As someone who likes to grind games, I do super get it. You know, I'm, I'm a huge MMO grinder. Uh, you know, I play, played my fair hours of old school RuneScape. I played my fair hours of, of Pokemon. You know, I've played a lot of MMOs. Um, I actually really want to do some videos coming up on some MMOs that I really, really enjoyed growing up. Some niche -er ones, pretty niche ones. I always want to talk about is uh, Nostalgia is one I always talk about. I'm probably planning... Uh, too big of a video for too niche of a game. Nostalgia coming up, putting a lot of effort into it. Hopefully enough people, you know, at least find some joy in it, even if they didn't really play the game growing up. But I'm doing a video for Nostalgia. I plan to do something for Spiral Knights, one of the first free-to-play games to ever be released on Steam and also was a fantastic free-to-play MMO back in the day. And then um, that kind of died from corporate greed, unfortunately, and microtransactions and a lot of mobile stuff actually it took from. But we'll do a video on that. And then Torum Online is the last one, which is probably the best mobile MMO, in my opinion, that I've ever played, uh, which is a hilarious sentence. Like, who really cares? But it's actually like a genuinely good game. Uh, and it came to PC recently with a Steam port. So it's kind of a dream to me to be able to play that game on PC. It has always felt like a PC MMO to me. It's just a legitimately good MMO, but it's just on mobile, which is weird. All right, everything has been healed up as much as possible. I'm going to go pop open this last chest so I don't miss out on this mana. We're going to check to see if this sword is actually an upgrade. It's probably not. A lot of things are reading as such. We're going to press G, and we're going to jump into the toughest wave yet. The wave where I probably die. I'm going to be totally honest. The wave where I probably die. We're going to see. I have to watch out for these wyverns. 43k HP now. Can my slice and dice do enough? Oh, I see what happens, actually. So it's not that my slice and dice doesn't do enough damage right? That's not the problem. How much HP does this thing have now? 2.6 or so. It just had 2 million. Now it has a lot more HP. I'm just going to try to be getting off heals whenever possible. That's pretty much my main job here. There's just going to be so much going on. So much chaos. Yeah, around 2.6 mil or so HP, it seems. Okay, I need to stop this spider, actually. That's my next job. Certain spiders may be in, in, in locations. What is it? Nooks and crannies where... They kind of need that support, so I'm just going to run out and heal everything where possible. This copter is kind of annoying, but what are you going to do? We're just going to run around, heal everything where possible. The casting rate making it pretty easy. Oh, this thing is actually taking way more damage. Okay, this slice and dice is also struggling. I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know what happened here to make this thing take so much damage, but... uh Oh, I died on hardcore mode. Oh, that's probably the G that's probably GG's, isn't it? Um, I did not think I would die there. There's 13 mythical pieces of gear on the ground. Oh, dude. Um, ouch. This area is so weakened. I don't think it survives. That's unfortunate. I think if I wasn't on hardcore mode, I actually win this wave. I think, but due to me being on hardcore mode, I think I lose. Um, it's probably worth to play not on hardcore mode for the time being then to do this. Thankfully, I can just restart back on wave 10 due to the PC port of Dungeon Defenders being an infinitely better uh, experience. So let's go ahead and let our Eternia Crystal be destroyed. Who cares? Only 30 minutes on that map. Not too bad. We're going to replay the level, jump back into things. Just kidding. I meant to turn off hardcore mode. Also, we're at level one. Let's return to Tavern. All right. As you can see, Nightmare Difficulty, not hardcore mode, wave 10, survival. Let's jump into it. There's all the mana I was hoping for, around 360 per chest. Now, is that actually going to be enough? That's not that much, unfortunately. Or at least it feels like not that much. Like, all my stuff is not going to be three-starred here. Not even close. Like, I'm not, obviously, I'm not even close to that. So, um, that's kind of unfortunate. I wonder if it's worth... It might be worth jumping back to wave nine or something, just to give myself the proper, you know, a little bit more time to get a little bit more mana. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and put a slight... We're going to try this, of course. I'll do my full setup and see you guys in a sec. All right, everything has been built. I'm going to try to put upgrades wherever I can, which mostly means a couple upgrades on slice and dices. That's about it. That's all the upgrades I have. I don't think I'm going to have enough mana to be able to beat this wave. I'm going to be totally honest. Uh, there are ninjas here, which is a huge pain as well. I'm going to just be trying to get mana and dumping upgrades into stuff pretty fast. Pretty fast, pretty much, is going to be my main thing. Uh, let's put one things into the harpoons. Got to get the spider off because that guy's going to cause major issues. This guy needs a level two ASAP or he's just going to die. 
Uh, there's shamans causing problems back here that hopefully the harpoons can target in due time. I'm going to jump over here. Everything's getting destroyed over here. Let's go ahead and try to get a heal on the slice and dice. Thankfully, I did go ahead and get one off. Get a heal on all of those as well. Jump over here. Get us a heal or an upgrade on the dying slice and dice, please. Why would it not target the slice and dice? It targeted the thing. Kobolds are getting through. Things are causing problems. I'm switching my hammer extremely slowly. I'm going to have to put a slice and dice here for the time being. I'm going to put an upgrade there. We're going to put an upgrade there. We're going to put an upgrade on this. A wyvern got through. Ah, yeah. I think this is a wave nine start type of situation, guys. This is brutal. Uh, these guys, yeah, I'm going to die here. I'm pretty sure. Not much I can do about that. Yeah, no, that's a wave niner. Wave niner for sure. I just cannot beat that without the extra mana. Jumping back into wave nine this time. I'm going to do the setup off camera. See you guys when I'm ready to go. I think if I could reach wave 15, I would call this video a success. That's kind of my goal here. If I just end up reaching like wave 12 or something, that's mostly fine as well. But I definitely think trying to aim for wave 15 is going to be a good goal for me. Making that serious progress towards wave 20 is going to be really important to me. And with just enough mana, pretty freaking close, unfortunately, I can go ahead and do that. Actually, no, I just realized I don't even have enough mana. If I start at wave 9... I don't even have enough mana. Oh my god, you're trolling to put slice and dices. Dude, I don't know if I can do this. I might need to start from scratch again? Really? Just to be able to have enough mana to actually take on these waves? Dude, that's brutal. Um, I don't know what to do here then. Maybe I... Okay. Maybe for this wave, I just do bouncing blockades here. I feel like I'd lose though if I do this. I'm going to be honest. Uh, this feels not good, gonna be honest. But, like, I absolutely need Slice and Dices here. Like, without, like, I need this. Like, I can't defeat the the Ogres and the Copter guys without having, like, pretty strong Slice and Dices here. So, I don't know. That's, that's like, a non... Uh, there's no argument. I have to have that. Right? I have to have that build. I'm gonna go ahead and... This might be stupid. I'm gonna put a... The thing here. That might be dumb. Uh, we're gonna test it. I'm gonna jump into this wave, I guess. This is I'm not looking forward to this, guys. I'm gonna be honest. I don't feel super confident about this. Let me just try to get mana as fast as possible, I guess, and build more. Uh, I'm also missing. No, no, no. I just that's what I was. I'm missing something. But no, it's just the um the bouncing blockade. So let me go ahead and sell this and make this a, a slice and dice. There we go. We got one back and ready. Let's head over here and do the same. If you're fast enough, maybe it's all totally fine. If you're fast enough, maybe it's all totally fine. Let's sell that. And, like, place one pretty fast. Okay. This is actually going pretty well. So maybe I don't need it like I think I do. Now, the issue is there's spiders behind this that are just super annoying. I can bump one into lava. That'd be kind of cool. Get an upgrade. Okay. One upgrade's good for now. Head over here. Oh, something got destroyed. The middle slice and dice. Was that, was that what it was? Uh, that's not good. Okay. Uh, and I get hit by... Okay. Really? The spiders at that time? Okay. This was human error, to be fair. I just deserve to lose here. I'm... I just... It's over. Um, yeah. I wasn't watching the middle section. Let's just res or restart. This is actually doable, though. That was just human error. You know what? What if I just... What if I just actually listen to my comments for once? I'm too stubborn, okay? I'll, I'll acknowledge that. I'll acknowledge that I'm too stubborn. Let's just go full... Bouncer blockades here. I'm going to go full bouncer blockades in, at every side, at every main stairway entrance. And then I'm just going to fully commit to doing more harpoons and more, uh, I guess, slice and dice support. I think it might actually be better. It might be a better strat. And it's cheaper on this first wave, which is just super nice. Now, slice and dices do have to go here to be able to be tall enough to actually deal with the wyverns and the incoming copters and such. All right, with all of that built, I still have a ton of defense units. I guess 14 or so. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add our harpoon here. That should be able to hit the staircase over there, but then also hit a lot of the incoming copters and such. I'm going to add one over here. Kind of same situation, same dealio. Uh, okay, now we're at zero mana, 80 out of 90. We've got two extra harpoons by doing these bouncer blockades. If these bouncer blockades work well enough... I get two extra harpoons from it. That's pretty freaking good. I could also bring in my monk and start going for those. Is it six defense units to do the stacked thing of those auras? The strength drain aura and such? That might be 
I might, I might end up having to utilize that strat. If I truly want to get to wave 20, you know, of this wave and truly be up there and competing and stuff, like, I think I might have to go for the multi-hero strategy involving some monk auras. These spiders are wildly annoying. I need to put an upgrade on this slice and dice, put an upgrade on this one, and then head over to the center over here. Get an upgrade on that. That balancing blockade is unfortunately just barely out of range. We got it, thankfully. Put some upgrade on these harpoons. I'll take it. Something got destroyed. Wait a minute. Was it over here? Wait, where was it even at? Dude, these spiders suck. Um, where? Wait, what harpoon? What is happening? What's what's getting destroyed? I literally don't even know. Oh, over here. Okay. Of course it is. Of course that goes down. Uh, I'm going to have to put this here. Just panic time. Uh, put an upgrade here. Upgrade there. Upgrade on the, on the balancer. Come on. Uh, this is sketchy, but I think it's doable. Do we still have eight? We still have so many minions left is the shitty thing here. Um, I have to, like, get behind these guys. Maybe the center could use a slice and dice. You know, maybe that's... Maybe I should push for that. Maybe that becomes a thing. Um, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, we're gonna put an upgrade into this, I guess. There's some crazy shit happening. This map is fucking hard, guys. That's kind of uh, where I'm at. I don't even know what to say. I, I'm losing again, I think. I have not made any progress since the first attempt. Like, all of these reattempts to start from not scratch. I've only ever done well on this map when starting from scratch so far. I'm just going to take the L. Uh, it's more wasted time and a little frustrating, but I just can't do it. I'm not strong enough. All these ogres getting through. Damn, that's disappointing. Uh, I'm not going to get a single more wave. A sing I'm still stuck at wave 10 max. I have to re-strategize. That sucks. Okay, well, uh, firstly, I'm sorry if you're already out of snacks. Or if you're, I guess you still have extra snacks. This video was a lot shorter than I intended it to be. Um, I'm going to have to get back to the drawing board, do some more strategy. And I think next episode, I'm going to be tackling the same project. This is just the current, the current big thing right now is trying to actually take on this challenge, get to wave 20 of Magus. Diffic Magus Quarters, Nightmare Difficulty, Hardcore, Survival, Mix Mode. Getting to wave 20. That's the goal, okay? That's the goal. Not there yet. Not powerful. Not strong enough. I'm going to have to hit the drawing board, figure stuff out, and I'm going to have to involve some Monk Auras for sure next time. So keep an eye out for next time. We're going to be implementing some Monk Auras into the build, and hopefully that will help out a ton. But thank you guys for watching up until this point. Make sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. Dislike if not, and subscribe for daily videos. I'll see you guys later. Peace, Arena.